Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Zoomtopia Studios. I'm Ronnie Brandt, and I'm joined with Juanita Coley from Solid Rock Consulting. Thanks for joining us here today. Absolutely, Donnie. Thank you so much for having me. So this is your second Zoomtopia, and I'm curious, just wandering around the show, uh, what are some of the insights that you've gleaned so far? Or what is it that you want to share with our audience who might be watching? Well, first of all, we got kicked off with the keynote, and I absolutely love that contact center and workforce management made the cut. Huh? So I was super excited about contact center and WFM making the cut in the keynote. That was huge. That was epic because as the WFM people at Solar Rock Consulting, we absolutely love workforce management. And so that was really key. Uh, a lot of the things that I'm sensing and I'm hearing as I'm walking through the expo floor and I'm uh, in different uh, sessions is I'm hearing a lot about AI, as you can probably imagine. Uh, but as I'm sitting down with the executives and I'm talking with them about AI, you know, we're talking about not disrupting for the sake of disrupting, but disrupting for the sake of making impact. Mm -hmm. Right. So if we're going to be using AI, how are we using AI and what is the outcome and, and how is that impacting people's lives so that they can do their jobs better? They can lead, lead more meaningful lives. And so I'm hearing that not only from the executive team but also hearing that from customers in how they're adopting AI, how they're adopting contact center and WFM. So I'm super excited about more of that. So you're getting ready to speak here, and I hear the passion coming, especially around CX. So what are you excited to share on the panel when you actually get going in just a few moments here? Yeah, so the, our, the panel is about, you know, how, you know, making CX like magic. How can you deliver on a great customer experience? And how is that magic nowadays with the power of AI and, and the, just the breadth of the, the, the technology itself, right? Uh, and so some of the things that I'm super excited that we're going to be discussing in the panel is about how customers are able to just move really quickly nowadays because of the technology, but they're not just doing that just for the sake of doing it. They're doing it because their customer is asking for more. They have various channels that they have to now show up on. It's, you know, the days of just phone, that's, that's kind of old school, you know? So now we have phone, we have video, we have chat, we have email, and to be able to have a platform that can serve up those amounts of channels and be able to do it at the speed of Zoom is amazing. So being able to take that various channels, also education is something that I'm hearing a lot about, training the employees, training the customers on how to best use the technology and how to best stay cutting edge when it comes to how they stay leaders in their industry. So I think that's really important. Now, you mentioned AI right at the beginning here, and it's all the rage right now. Generative AI has taken over the headlines for the last year. So as you think about the evolution of customer experience, where before maybe it was a, a supervisor walking around the floor listening for cues to help out, and now we have these globally distributed workforces. How do you think generative AI is actually impacting the way that agents serve, that managers help, but also how like you and I, when we call for help, how are we getting what we need even faster? You know, I like to think of it. So I have an acronym for making everyone CEOs, right? Whether you're a CEO that runs a business or not, I have an acronym and it's about making individual CEOs. And it's about creating opportunities, equipping others, and taking extreme ownership. And I believe that that's what AI is doing for the agent. It's allowing them to create opportunities and discover opportunities of how they can best serve the customer. It's allowing them to equip themselves and others when they're doing peer training or peer learning and sharing information. And then it's allowing them to take extreme ownership of their role, their career path, their career trajectory. And so this is what I'm seeing when it comes to AI. It's allowing us to train and equip agents that much quicker, employees, period, right? Allowing us to train and equip employees that much quicker and allowing them to really take their uh, career into their own hands because they have the information there served up to them and it's ready and available. And it's now just about what do you want to do? Yeah. You know, and so that's super powerful when you think about it. You know, I think about my own journey starting off in the contact center as a teen mom and picking up a book, reading it. And that changed the trajectory of my life. And 
if you think about that now in t today's, you know, climate, you don't even have to pick up the book anymore. You can have the information served up to you and say, okay, now I'm empowered with the information that I need. I can now change my career. And that's one of the top things that we're hearing from agents and employees about what they are looking for from employers is I'm looking for employers to train me, equip me. I don't want to just be thrown out onto the floor or in this remote environment, sit home with my two monitors and keyboard and say, figure it out. No, train me, equip me. I want to feel a part of the organization. I want to make sure that I have ownership and stake in the, you know, stake in the organization. And, I, and so training is really important. Well, you're hitting on something, not even talking about it, agent satisfaction. Turnover is huge. You can reduce agent turnover even 1%. Could you imagine just the productivity that you get back out of your team? So if you're speaking to any of the customer service organizations out there, like, what is like the one key thing you want them to understand that's going to help keep those agents happy and satisfied in the job? You know, it's so funny that you asked that, Donnie, because I was just doing, so I belong to like this uh, agent rent group it, 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 that shall remain nameless. And it's over 28,000 agents in this group. And so I asked a question like, hey, do people still like their jobs? And if so, why do you like it? If not, why don't you like it? Tell, do you know the number one thing, the answer I got back? It's here the number one number one thing that either people made people either like or hate their job was the training like hey we want to be trained we want to make sure that we have information we don't want to be guessing at information because I say this all the time without an EX strategy right without an employee experience strategy your CX strategy is trash and what I mean by that is if you're not treating your employees well if if you're not equipping them with the information that they need then as a byproduct of that, you get poor customer service, poor customer experience. Not because people wake up and say, hey, I want to suck today, right? Or I want to do a bad job, but because they don't have the information at their fingertips to do a job well done. So they're defeated before they even start. So that was the number one thing that made agents say, we either love our job, like we get amazing training. They're always continually training. We have feedback loops. We have all the different things. Or... They don't do this at all. They just throw us to the wolves. Their information is on the SharePoint. It's outdated. And then we get knocked off for quality because we don't have, we're not given the right information, right? So that was the number one thing. The second thing, though, was schedule autonomy. Okay. People were saying, like, listen, we are adults. Let, figure out what your staffing needs are and let us pick when we want to come in to work. So the, comp the companies that had um, a lot of uh, autonomy around shifts and shift availability, employees were like, we really love working here. Ones that they didn't, they were like, uh, well, they pay me well, you know, like, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a thing that they well, enjoyed. I see why you're so excited about workforce management because it addresses one of those two things. And then some of the things we heard in the keynote today addresses the other. So not in lieu of training, but alongside training, how do you add those tools that are going to help you assist and move the problems along a little bit quicker as well? Absolutely. So I hear you have a little bit of news and I'm excited about this too. Solid Rock and Zoom, there's a new partnership, right? Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about that and why it's so exciting? Yeah, so uh, Solid Rock Consulting is a workforce management consulting uh, practice or firm. And so we help organizations in really three ways. We help them with professional services. So when they are looking to bring on a new WFM solution or WFO solution, we help them in a training and development capacity, making sure that we're training them on how to best use the tool so that they get great adoption from the solution. The second way that we help them is from a workforce management discipline or managed services perspective. So like, hey, we're trying to stand up a workforce management discipline. We don't really know what we're doing. We don't understand what workforce management even is. Can you help us um, get to market quicker? You know, like stand this department up much quicker. Because we don't want to figure it out. We want to get it right out the gate. Uh, because workforce is very much so about building a discipline, not so much the solution. Mm -hmm. But the, then the third way that we help our customers is around WFM solution procurement. So, hey, we are big enough now. We are scaling our WFM processes and practices and our team, and we need a solution. But every vendor tells us that they can get it done. What are we looking for? What should we be looking for? And so we help them in that way. 
So when we when you think about our partnership with Zoom, it makes perfect sense because Zoom, you know, made their announcement about releasing Contact Center and releasing WFM and releasing quality. And we are a professional services organization. So we help companies like Zoom implement uh, and train their customer on how to best use the product. But not only that, but then also help their customer really understand the discipline. It's almost like having QuickBooks, but not having a CPA, right? Anybody can go and buy a license of QuickBooks, but everyone's not a CPA. And so we are really, really skilled at the discipline of workforce management. And so we aid organizations like Zoom say, hey, let us be your CPA, right, for your customers. And, and that's how we partner. So then where can our audience at home go learn a little bit more about this if they want to take advantage of this? And Yeah, they can visit us um, in, on solidrockco.net is our website, okay. but they can also, we'll uh, be in the partner portal so they can visit us there. Uh, we're all things social, okay? So we're everywhere social wants to be. I feel like that's the MasterCard line or something like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, that we're, we're pretty much everywhere. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We're live here at Zoomtopia. Again, I'm Ronnie. This is Juanita. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time here at Zoomtopia. Thank you for having me.